Welcome back to VBAR 101. Uh, this time we're gonna look at the step 4, the swashplate servos. Uh, as you might remember I said don't worry about the order of the <coughs> swashplate servos because here in the program you see the real um, uh, instructions for how you should mount the servos or and which channel that goes to in the VBAR. First of all, you're gonna check and double check that the swash plate layout visualized in this uh, screen matching your really real helicopter. So you, in this case, I have the elevator servo up front. Then I actually can see here. So my elevator servo is going going into V bar channel one. The right aileron going to channel two, and the left aileron is going to channel three. So I'm gonna hook up that and uh, I'll be back in a short while. So now I have everything hooked up and now we're gonna check if uh, my swash plate movement matches that of, uh, of uh, the radio. And since I've done the TX calibration at this step I don't want to change my radio again. I shouldn't. In any circumstances. So I push uh, aileron right and it's wrong. I push uh, elevator forward and it's reversed and pitch is reversed as well. So what I need to go in then is to actually invert all my uh, servos here and we should get an exactly counteractive movement. As you see now the swash is not very level. When you switch um, switch um, server reverse you need to restart the v-bar for it to recalibrate so back again and when you restart go back out of setup mode and into the setup mode again there we have uh, and now we test the movement again and right left forward back up down perfectly as you will notice here now, I will, you can hear, the servo is binding. I'm gonna show you how to ca take care of this. Again, in a preset this should already be uh, correct, but uh, as I will show you how to tweak your helicopter, even if there is no preset, we're gonna go over that step as well. So in the right hand side here you see a graphical representation of how the sensor is mounted. Um, and let's start the video here. What you can see on my helicopter is mounted this way. And since the movement of the sticks is correct and the TX calibration is correct I shouldn't have any problem right now with the sensor because if I go back out of setup mode and we move the helicopter physically it counteracts the movement. It's very hard to see. I'm gonna see if I can raise uh, the cyclic ring here just temporarily to see if we can get uh, a better movement. And it counteracts the movement. It's very easy to miss sometimes, but what you can do is put your finger on top of the swash so you can actually feel that it's going down, up, down. It's easier to feel uh, than to see sometimes because the servos are wiggling a bit when you move the helicopter. So back to setup mode again. And I'm gonna now show you the different uh, settings in the um, expert panel. It will be a little deeper dive, more technical, but it's necessary for you if you are going to set up a helicopter which there is no preset for.